What's up guys and welcome to Wizard 101. This is a really cool MMO that is family friendly, that's really interesting, that's been around for a super long time now. Back when I was a kid, I know there were like three big online computer games that every kid played. Either you played RuneScape, Club Penguin, or Wizard 101. Now, I was a RuneScape kid myself, but I know a lot of people who really enjoyed this game, and I just sort of never got to it. But we're gonna be playing a little bit of it for you guys today. If you do enjoy how the game looks, it is free to play, so if you're interested, feel free to go into the link in the description and check the game out for yourself. But without further ado, why don't we get started with the game? We're gonna start from the very beginning, make our own character, and all that kind of cool stuff. So, let's get started. Aha! The spell is working. Oh, is it? Hello! Look, Gamma. Finally, we have found one. Ooh, hi. <laughs> what did you find? You found me? Oh, okay. You found me. What's Ooh. up? Hello, Owl. A young wizard. A student with amazing potential. Enough, perhaps, to save Wizard City. Okay, Gandalf, what's up? <laughs> oh, really? Where? Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets? Ooh, I guess we should. Master Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Answer these questions to find out what type of wizard you are. Alright, so there you can see here that there's actually a little quiz you can take, and this will determine or at least suggest to you what uh, class you should take, because there's a bunch of different classes in the game. Now, when it comes to the quiz, it's like, I like to spend my time by myself or with my friends. I like to little, do a little bit of both, but I'm also a bit of a low inner soul do by myself. Which of these is the most powerful? Earthquake, blizzard, tornado, volcano, plague, sandstorm, or hurricane? I think we'll have to go with plague. It just seems like the, the most powerful one. Which best describes you? I am an honest and hardworking, I am extremely creative, I am smart and I study hard, I am fast and athletic, I am very well-rounded, and I am a great listener and a friend. Hmm. I think I'm honest and hardworking. Uh, what's your favorite season? I think we'll have to go with fall. Fall's nice. What is more important to you, competing against others or cooperating? Cooperating. What is your favorite animal? Oh, there's no zebra on here. Fine, I'll have to go with the unicorn since it's it's like my hoved brethren, and it's definitely not crabs. <laughs> What's your favorite gemstone? Oh, hmm. I'll go with an amethyst. All right, you have the chosen the school of storm. Storm wizards are often impulse educated, creative, and independent. Famous diviners included Benjamin Franklin, Lady Circe, and Galileo. Storm wizards are capable of devastating attacks, but have somewhat weaker defenses. All right, cool. Why don't we get started with this class? All right, there we go. I tried to get things as zebratastic as possible, but there's our character. So now we are a very zebratastic. No, I didn't want to press the red, dang it. All right, so now we get to choose our name, which is actually sort of like this little like word combiner. Unfortunately, they don't have zebra in any of these, so we're gonna have to choose whatever Z thing they have. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, oh, is there, an okay, we could just choose none for the middle name. What about over here? Ooh, <laughs> this just keeps going, there's so many. Is there really nothing? We could just be Zachary? <laughs> oh jeez, I don't know what to do then. Um, we'll go ahead and just choose something random, and then choose something random, and then <laughs> Samuel Sparkle, oh boy, come on, and boom, Sparkle Hand. <laughs> That's cool, I like that one. So here we are, here is Samuel Sparkle Hand. Let's get started with playing the game. Uh oh, what's happening? I just learned how to walk and to talk to people. Oh gosh, plot is happening, it's raining. Uh oh. Oh, who was that? Oh. <laughs> That's what I asked. How odd. Hmm. Come along, young wizard. Let's investigate the matter. Meet me in the tower. Okay. You, best follow the headmaster. You're safe with him. Why? To the tower. Why are they so, so nonchalant about this? Somebody just literally made it rain. There's like a ghost in there. I'm horrified. Okay. Malister. Oh no. Ambrose. You are no longer welcome here. Why have you returned? I'm here to resolve our unfinished business. Is this your latest student? My henchman will see to your little friend. I love this guy's voice. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spill cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malister himself. 
Don't be so sure of yourself, old man. Run up and confront them. Be brave. I will guide you. All right, then, so we're about to fight our first enemies, and this is basically where the main chunk of the gameplay is, is it's a card game. from your deck, quickly. You must choose a spell and use it to attack one of Malastare's henchmen by clicking on him. So we have two cards here with the Fire Cat and we have the Troll. Now both seem to be doing a bit of damage here, but it looks like the Troll does more damage, I believe. Let's go ahead and throw the Troll out and make him attack that dude. Oh. Oh boy, what's happening? Whoa, okay. Okay, he spawned in. Spooky, spooky uh, holographic bug. Oh no. <laughs> and then, oh jeez. Oh, that is not nice. I, I don't want to deal with that. Ow. Get out of here, dude. All right, so let's see how you deal with the troll, though. Oh, oh boy, he's big. Smack him, smack him. Oh, nice, but it wasn't enough to take him out. Oh, yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, my, you're hurt. You'll need to pay attention to your current health. All right, so we have 300 this health. This red crystal ball shows your health. If you run out of health in a wizard duel, you'll be defeated. The blue crystal ball shows how much mana you have left. Well, mana is magical energy. If you run out of mana, you won't be able to cast any more spells. When you're out of mana, you'll be at the mercy. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, oh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. <laughs> Silly. Silly, uh, I always forget his name. Right. All right, then let's go ahead and attack this dude because he has to be close to being dead here So let's see if we can't take him down this other guy that's gonna start whacking us. It's gonna be a little scary Ouch, that's another 90 health. Wow, we are actually running a little low here. Um, oh boy What is going on with this? Whoa, okay <laughs> palm tree and a skeleton Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, so we've lost a little bit of health here, but we still have 105 left all right, dragon. Oh, oh no, it's a, the lion tiger thing that's on fl this fire. This is interesting. Not really sure what's up with that. You doddering fool. Your student is no match for my forces. Hey, I'm not down and out yet. Oh no, you're in trouble. Quickly, use the unicorn spill and cast it on yourself. It will replenish your health. All right then, the unicorn, the great cousin to the zebra. I don't mind that. Let's go ahead and use that unicorn spell on us. Now, you might be able to see that even though I used a card, it isn't my turn yet. And that's because the turn is actually, if you look, you, know, you, see, you can see the triangle there sort of moves from one character to the next. One that triangle moves to me is when I get to play. So, okay, we're gonna summon this unicorn. He's gonna come over here and heal me up. Thank you, sir unicorn. Wow, quite a health buff there. Foolish creatures! You've let the young whelp heal! Defeat the whelp or you'll suffer for it! Use your spells to weaken the young wizard's spells! Oh boy. Here, young wizard. Take some more pips. They power your spells. The more pips you have, the stronger the spells you can cast. I'll keep that in mind. Quickly now. Pick another spell and cast it at one of them. All right, so I'm not sure, this just looks like Nature's Wrath. I'm not really sure what it does, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, uh, oh my, that spell reduced the power of your own spell. So he th sent out a debuff to me that made my spell a little bit weaker, which ain't no good, but come on, Groot, <laughs> throw that rock at him. You got this, ooh, okay, cool. Oh boy, but these guys are still alive. They're super strong. Now finish the child. Cast this Balance Blade spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. The problem with that, though, is that we have to, like, get hurt without dealing any damage. So that's gonna be a little bit of a risk. Oh, gosh! And he's throwing the Phoenix at me. No! How in the world are we surviving that? I don't know how that only did 85 damage. That seemed pretty intimidating. Uh, oh, gosh! Senshuard! Uh, no! Oh, gosh, I hope he's not a good shot! Oh, no! He looks like he's a pretty good shot. Ow, my toe! He turned me into a tree. Now, that did more damage than the Phoenix, though. Okay. Oh, boy. This one learns fast, Malistair. Two can play at that game. I've got it. Use this Meteor Strike spell. It will strike both of the henchmen. Here are the pips to cast it with. 
with the balance blade spell you've already cast. The meteor strike spell should finish them off. Cast it now. Alrighty, Merle. Let's go ahead and smack both of them with this. But oh boy, what are they gonna do? Hopefully they don't take me out in the meantime. Oh gosh, that guy's the biggest yet. Oh no, please don't. Uh, oh, okay, that didn't do as much damage though as the other thing. It's so weird. Oh boy, no, ninja pigs. Please don't. Why are they ninjas? I don't know. It seems like, <laughs> this is cool actually. Who needs Kung Fu Panda? Jeez, we are about to die though, we have 25 health. Oh boy, come on, get him. Oh man. Oh, oh, another one slams down. Wow, that was a lot of damage. And I think that's it. We've taken down the Draconians. Hooray, we win! Oh, excellent work, young wizard. Now, let me see to Malister. I'll show him. Threatening a new student before orientation, no less. Another time, old man. I have what I came for. And now I'll take my leave of this wretched place. Okay then, so we just got our first spell book and wand. I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. There's little doubt, but that a great destiny awaits. Thank you, and I appreciate it, Merle. Oh, who knows? Maybe you'll fill my shoes and become headmaster someday. I mean, seems like you got a lot of years on me, so I don't know. If you'll excuse me, I have a mountain of duties to attend to right now, including readying your enrollment. So if you don't mind waiting for a moment or two, I'll pop back to my office and straighten up. I'll summon you when things are presentable. Ah, oh, so many books and papers to tidy up. Uh, where did I put those forms? See you soon. All right, sounds good. See you, old dude. So there we go. We know how to play the game now. We have our first little stuff here. We got ourselves a wand and a spell book. We know how to speak, and, we, and down here is our experience bar. So we have levels to get, and here we are just in the game. So now we can go and talk to Merle again. You can see there's actually other players around. We got like other people over here. Kyle, Miss Leaf. We have uh, several people here, I guess. We have ourselves Prince Jake, Justin Spellcaster, Aaron, Mr. Fountain. I love the names in here, but I don't think any of them beat Mr. Sparklehand as we are. Welcome to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. I have an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. Sure thing. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. All right, that sounds good. Let's go talk to the private. Um, do we go through here? Oh, no, I gotta follow the arrow, the thing they literally just told me. There you go, okay, let's get out of here. I've just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. All right then, okay. I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, don't worry. When you click on them. All right then, so this is Welcome to the Spiral. As you adventure through Wizard 101, you'll encounter lots of things to do beyond defending the spiral against evil. All right then, so at level three, we can start crafting, we can get a pet, you can catch fish, you can enter player versus player tournaments. And I'm sure eventually if we enjoy, of course, our first little bit of playing this game, maybe we'll do more in the future, who knows, who knows? But for right now, let's just continue with what we got going on. Let's finish up our first quest here. Say, you have permission oh yeah, okay, we know, we know about text chat, don't worry about that. And there is tons of information in here, which we can find out. But for right now, I just wanna do our first quest. Get that done and see what things figure out. All right then, <laughs> there's people talking though. That's cool that you can just walk through while everyone's having a conversation. And honestly, it does feel like those older MMOs I used to play like RuneScape, which is really cool. I'm gonna talk to Private over. Oh, hi, dude, how you doing? None shall pass. Unicorn Way is off limits. There are ghosts everywhere. Oh no. You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit, I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Conley in Unicorn Way. All right, I'm glad it's legit for you, Private. I didn't know he was like an investigator, but I guess he has all like a whole, you know, trick and trade going on. All right then, oh, wait, how did you get over? Oh no, this is a new guy, I was gonna say. Ah, a letter from the headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. 
Am I supposed to be afraid of you? Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in Your mind. Your arrival is a blessing. We need help fending off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen, and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. Alrighty then, so why don't we chase away some lost souls? This will be our first quest that we actually go on, where we get to go and battle people. And of course, try out more of this, you know, system, this whole card game stuff. So, let's go ahead and do that. We gotta run off this way. Ooh. And oh, there the ghost, a lost soul. Oh, and these guys you can see are already battling it, but we can hop in. Sometimes it'll let us, yep, just like that, and we can start battling with them. Alright, so, oh, oh, it looks like I joined at a horrible time. I guess that didn't count. Come on, can I hop in with this guy, maybe? Oh, come on, let me join you, let me join you. All right, whoa, look at him go. He's already attacking the soul. Oh, come on, come on. Is it my turn yet? Oh, another one hopped in, though. Did that one first one count? Because that would make it easier for me. Whoa, okay, so we have a Thunder Snake or a Minor Spark. It looks like the Minor Spark is actually a debuff of some sort. So let's go ahead and play the uh, Thunder Snake. And we'll put it on the first guy. All right, looks good. So this guy, these guys seem to know a little bit more than I do, so I'll try to keep that in mind. Stick with these guys a little bit while we get this mission done. Oh, and there goes one of them. Do we get that though? Is that not us? I'm not really sure. And, all right then, oh, I didn't even get to do anything, fine. Attack him. Uh, waiting for other players. Uh, oh, I guess I have time to cast as well. All right then, sounds good. So this guy's gonna like one shot everybody. <laughs> all right, let's see. Will he this time? Uh, yes he won't. <laughs> Is that not gonna work for me though? Uh, no, it actually counted. Okay, then I don't care how how easily you defeat them as long as I get the progress too. All right, then let's attack this one. I think we actually just sort of have to wait around until they are re ready and good to go, just like that. <laughs> it's odd that we have to wait for them to be ready to fight. All right, let's go ahead, boom, throw that over. And we don't really need to do the debuff right now just because these battles seem to be so short, but now that we're just one on one, things might get a little, oh no, it fizzled. Okay, so it fizzled, which means there's just a chance that your spell might fail, and that's exactly what happened there, is that our, our spell failed. I'll show, sort of show here. Um, I believe it's at 70%. There's a 70% chance it won't fizzle, so 30% chance it will fizzle. So we could try the minor spark right now. Let's go ahead and try it, just see what it does. And now that had a 100% chance it won't fizzle, so boom, we're able to hit him with that. Oh, that actually did a little bit of damage too. Okay, cool. Maybe it has some like added, stuff that we can look into. Oh boy, he's making me dance. The power of music hurts. <laughs> All right, then let's go ahead and use the snake now that we've done the, the little on. So I guess we could sort of have like a guaranteed shot, but it does less damage and it fizzled again. Wow, chances are against us. Oh, oh my. All right, so he's sort of dealing a good number to us right now. I really hope we don't lose in our first one-on-one -on -one battle, our first real one. So let's go ahead, throw that on the you. Can we spawn it this time? <gasps> Oh, there you go, come on in here, Thunder Snake. Tell Moose Boss, whoa, that is actually pretty cool. And down he goes. So there you go, all three of them are defeated. So why don't we go ahead and cash in that goal? Everybody wants to talk to us right now. We are Mr. Popular, but we're gonna ignore that for right now because I just wanna go back and talk to the private, uh, Private Connolly or whatever his name was. I think that's what it was. All right, then so let's run across back to here and talk to him. He's just gonna chill out here, working very hard at what he does, whatever that is. That's turned the tide for us. We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If only we knew what's causing this spread of the undead. You should talk to Saren Nightchant and see if he can use any help. All right, then maybe we'll do that soon. But I wanted to check out this right here. So this is a bunch of information when it comes to our quests and everything. There is so much information if you're ever curious about anything in the game when it comes to playing with other players or any of that kind of stuff. You can learn more about the cards here, like the name of the spell. This is the school of the spell. This is like, because of course with each class has their own specific card. So make sure you choose the class you like that looks cool. This is the rank that, you know, the rank of the spell. This is the accuracy of the spell. It is the chance that it won't fizzle. So I was right with that. All right then, cool. So what I want to see is maybe we can see our deck from here. Is that available? Let me find out. 
So you can see those are the only two cards that we currently have in our deck. But if we were to keep doing quests and to keep progressing through the game, we would eventually get more. Also, when we level up and stuff, I believe we get more cards. But for right now, I think that that's about all I wanted to show you guys for today. This is Wizard 101. Like I said, it is free to play. And if you guys really do enjoy watching me play it, I could consider playing a little bit more. It's really fun. You know, it's been out all these years and it's still pretty interesting. It seems like it still has a lot of life in it, which is cool. A lot of players running around. So yeah, if you do enjoy it, make sure, like I said, go in the link in the description and sign up for yourself. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Wizard Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.